So we're here with Baron Francesco Riccasoli, and we're going to go through his wines. So let's go through his wines. And I, he's going to talk, I'm going to taste. So here we go. You are the lucky guy, so. Yes. I have just to talk and you, and you enjoy the wine. So the first wine you are having is a lovely rosé. And uh, we have uh, Merlot and Sangiovese. Here we go. Vintage uh, 22. Uh, why Merlot and Sangiovese? Merlot because uh, we pick uh, the grapes uh, early in order to have uh, a nice acidity that the rosé needs to have. And uh, Sangiovese is the one instead that uh, gives uh, such floral, enjoyable nose. Beautiful. Beautiful yeah, wine, is. actually. I love that. Uh, we have uh, Brolio yes. 21, uh, Chianti Classico, and this is our, I mean, very important yes. wine. Uh, we are talking of uh, Sangiovese, of course. Uh, we are the king of Sangiovese, and uh, where we have the expertise. Yes. Uh, Sangiovese is a fantastic uh, grape variety uh, to enjoy with the food because of the nice tannic side and the, of course, acidity as well. And in too often we drink it soon, but it's yes. also wine to keep for a few great, years. Great value wine, great Absolutely. value wine. I love beautiful. that. Yeah. Beautiful, it's beautiful it's label. Look at the label; it's also very well, nice. Well, uh, the label is showing uh, the family crest. Ah. Uh, that uh, the family crest of my family, the Casoli family, and is uh, very historical because we have it since uh, many, many, many years, and you can imagine. Excellent. My wine, my family has been producing wine since. Uh, almost 900 years and we are considered the oldest winery in Italy. Wow, wonderful. This one listed in uh, BC liquor stores, regular $29.99. What a excellent. deal. Excellent. $29.99, excellent deal. Now we are going up in, uh, let's say, structure. Wow. It's uh, still Broglio, Broglio Reserva. And uh, vintage is 2020, yes. and uh, very much. Here you, you start to get more texture, more structure. It, it, nevertheless, it's a wine that uh, you can enjoy now. But also, if, if you forget it in the cellar, it, it can only get better. A little bit more like a peppery or spicy in terms of the... Yeah, there is the spiciness that is, uh, I would say, uh, black cherry, dark cherries and fruit, uh, red fruit from the woods. Lovely wine, lovely wine. You agree with me? Very nice, very nice. Warm vintage. Yes, yes. very warm vintage. But, 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 important to say that if you work well and seriously in the vineyards, you don't have this kind of over ripeness yeah, yes. that uh, you, you might have in uh, very warm vintages. Wonderful. And here there is a perfect balance, nice acidity and a freshness that is surprising. Uh, Wow, open. Then we get to uh, Gran Selezione, Castello di Broglio, that is uh, one of the four uh, Gran Selezione that we produce. And here is the great job that we have been uh, doing in the last 20 years in uh, zoning the entire estate and uh, looking for uh, the parcel of Sangiovese that were uh, delivering a stronger expression or characteristic. So uh, this is Castello di Broglio is uh, like a Grand Cru and uh, the Sangiovese is coming from uh, uh, vineyards that are located at higher altitudes yes. between 400 and 500 meters so where there is more freshness and uh, that is combined with uh, structure. Wow. It makes it a very elegant wine. Really very elegant wine. Beautiful, yeah, beautiful wine. I'm very interested in this wine. Yeah, because yeah it's this a, is, I mean. It's a, because I, I, I associate you as a Chianti producer, but I want to see what you do with other things. This is your IGT wine, so. Yeah, this is Casal Ferro, Casal Ferro 19, and uh, it's 100% uh, Merlot, IGT. Of course, it's not Chianti Classico, because Chianti Classico has to be minimum 80% Sangiovese, and here we are 100% Merlot. Therefore, it's, uh, someone call it Super Tuscan, I call it Casal Ferro because it's a beautiful Merlot. As you can see, it's not written the grape variety on the front label, because it's not the 
showing the typicity of the grape variety, but instead it's a Merlot that has in a certain way uh, been cantified stylistically. Yes. It's not a yummy Merlot that normally we can uh, get. It has this freshness. I, I like the I like what you say, cantified Merlot. You don't want to create Merlot. You don't want to create Bordeaux Merlot. You want to create exactly. Chianti Merlot. This is the very respect key. of territory. I love that. Yeah. And uh, so but very this, young. This is ah. Uh, yes. It's back. You need a back vintage of this. This is oh beautiful. So thank you so much for your time. Thank Appreciate you. it so thank much. You. Thank you.